Church, it's Dorothy, and I'd like to share something with you this morning, um, taken from my daily devotions, and it's out of Colossians 1, 24 through 29. I'd encourage you to read it. It's good reading. And I have a question to begin to ask you, and it's, are you living and moving through your days in simplicity, harmony, and gentleness. These days, some of us, I know, are being dictated by the circumstances of each day, and they affect our moods and our actions. And I was reminded the other day of these truths. It's not a new revelation. It's something that's been there all the time, but we seldom look at it. So I'm going to read them to you. I know you can see me reading, but um, it's the best way to get it. So God means to be our lives, our very lives. The breath in our lungs, the energy and creativity in our work, the love in our hearts. He means to take on our stress and unravel the inner complications so that we can move through our lives as he did in gentleness, in simplicity, and in harmony. Colossians 1.27 says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Oh, what a big sentence that is. Okay, so how do we do that every day? How do we live in Christ, the hope of glory? Well, it's just by grace. It's by God's grace that Jesus gave us. Jesus gave us the key to putting grace to work. He says, abide in me and I in you. For apart from me, you can do nothing. We all know that's so true. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, so neither can we unless we abide in him. We were intended to be containers. Containers for God. The temples of God, not God's. The branches that contain the sap of God his life, and the vessels that contain the new wine of his spirit. We are the glove. He is the hand. We are the cup. He is the coffee. We are the lamp, but he is the light. We need to focus on these truths and cling to them in these days. When things come at us and try to disrupt our world and we're looking for a new normal and it just isn't happening, these truths remain. If we focus on these truths, they will give us peace because it relieves us, really. We don't have to perform. We just let Jesus do his thing. God bless you today.